Hello world, my name is Mohit Deshpande, and this is the first video of the first module of the Android M development course, and that is the Java tutorial. So really, in this video, I just want to give you a very broad overview of the things that we'll be learning in Java. So here is the overview right now. So the first thing we're going to learn is how to install Java and what we call the Java development kit, which is JDK and Eclipse which is the Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, that we use to develop applications in Java. And then we'll go through the basic Hello World applications. We'll talk about how we print things out to a console, the different the methods like uh, print line and print. We'll talk about the two different kinds of errors. There's a compile time error and runtime error. We'll get into variables and talk about some of the primitive types of variables. We also have these things called strings, which are strings of characters. We'll talk about some of the naming conventions and the good practices to use when you're naming variables. And then we'll talk about arrays of variables. How can I have a variable that has multiple, like if I can have an integer array, I have an array, which is a kind of object that holds multiple integers. We'll talk about operators, which would be, you know, assignment operators, any sort of arithmetic operators like addition, subtraction, division. We'll talk about some of the, what we call unary operators, which only require one operand. And then the Boolean conditional operators. In control flow, we'll talk about how we make decision statements in our code, as well as the different kinds of loops to execute code multiple times. And then the two different kinds of branching statements that we have, like a break and continue. And then when we start to talk about classes, we're really going into the object-oriented side of Java. And that's what we call OOP, object-oriented programming. And I'm going to try to have lots of pictures and represent things pictorially from classes down to inheritance because it's easier to see the relations when you have a picture as opposed to typing in 50 lines of code. So in classes, we'll talk about what exactly is a class, the member variables, we'll talk about these things called methods, instructors, and then we'll talk about a core concept of OOP, which is data hiding, or called encapsulation. And the next thing we're going to talk about objects, as in how do we create an object, what are fields to an object, we'll talk a little bit more about encapsulation. We'll talk about what we call the this parameter, THIS. And the last two topics are interfaces. How do we create interfaces? What does it mean for a class to implement an interface? And then finally, we will talk about inheritance, which is another core object-oriented programming principle. Talk about you know, what's the difference between overriding and overloading. Talk about you know, static versus instance members or methods. And then we'll talk about yet another core programming principle, which is poly called polymorphism. And all of these things are taught by example. So I'm very rarely ever going to have slides on things. Maybe I'll have a couple slides with pictures when we delve into classes and onwards. But besides that, very rarely will I have slides. A lot of it's going to be, let's open up Eclipse and type in some Java code. Like uh, in variables, we'll, I'll type in uh, the, the different types of variables and then print them out to the console. So a lot of this is going to be taught primarily by example so that you get experience in typing up Java code and you'll learn more and understand more when you type it up as opposed to just seeing you know 10 lecture slides about variables. Instead we'll actually you know type up variables or we'll do operations with operators and print out results. I just feel like it's a better way to understand the material and get more experience in typing up code so that you can be more comfortable in the Eclipse environment and more comfortable typing up in Java. Because you can really t read up through as many slides and books as you want, but it's not going to be much use of you until you actually go and type up whatever application that you want and run the code and see the results for yourself. So this is a very broad overview of what we're going to be doing in this Java module. So I don't want to linger on these slides for too long. So let's get started in the next video where I will show you how to install the JDK and Eclipse. Hope to see you then.